New at six today, a small town city council meeting goes haywire with the vice mayor threatening to beat up the mayor. That threat was caught on camera and you won't believe what started it. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis shows us how it all went down. It was a city council workshop that took a turn for the worse when the vice mayor threatened to assault the mayor. Now in the city of Pleasant View is trying to determine what comes next. There was a lot of tension. It, it was uh, stressful, to say the least. What started out as a normal Pleasant View City Council workshop turned into something you might see on a reality TV show. And when the vice mayor sounded off, it was all caught on camera. Appreciate your opinion. Okay. You ever talk to me like you know, <laughs> We're told tensions boiled over for Vice Mayor Bruce Drake after Mayor Perry Keenan did not support Drake's nominated Parks and Recreation Board candidate. An outburst the mayor never saw coming. It was terribly awkward. It was uncomfortable. It was embarrassing. And to make matters even worse, the mayor's son watched it all unfold. My eight-year-old son was here at the meeting, and when we left, I had to explain to him why somebody said he wants to kick his dad's butt. News Channel 5 is learning more about the man behind the camera. Vice Mayor's nominated Parks and Rec Board candidate, Danny Ritiker. The thing that goes through your mind first as a man is, you know, you want to try to puff up and, and you know, overreact. Uh, it's human nature anytime you're challenged. But in all reality, that's not who we are as a people here in Pleasant View. And as Mayor Keenan works to restore peace within Pleasant View. I appreciate your opinion. Okay. What's your problem, too? Vice Mayor Drake may have shared an opinion that may come with consequences. We're elected officials. We were elected to serve the people, and that's not just like political speak. We truly, are, we need to put our best foot forward. We need to be held to a higher standard, and we need to act like it. The next city council meeting is scheduled for August 8th. For now in Pleasant View, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. The vice mayor was not able to comment. His wife tells us he's in the hospital. The mayor says he has not apologized.